the inner V action and interesting change in the ruck for Port Adelaide to start with an area they obviously were smashed in last week and it gets them inside 50 but here's Saad putting the ball to ground and getting the Bombers going can they link up with Run Green getting well off the ground to accept from Zaharakis and some good overlap too for the Bombers Merritt hacks a little kick forward after receiving from Myers now Devin Smith with an opportunity which is quickly cut off by Ebert McDonald Tip and Woody another who needs to lift Zaharakis there's good momentum Stewart's got two to deal with but from the side and out control of the ball but that's the start that you want uncontested possession we're seeing the run and carry played 18 games for 18 goals with the Giants he's now in his 20th for the Bombers 27 goals about to become 28 first goal of the day belongs to Essendon and James Stewart well they got their run out of the back half it was unselfish in his approach to try and get the ball across to Devin Smith. Now using his ability to get up to get the tap down. Danaher was surrounded. It fell to the perfect position for the left boot of David Myers. Teated seven goals to five at the clearances last week against Stefan Martin. That's mainly the reason I suspect that they've made that change in the ruck. Got up. Found a way through to full forward. Danaher couldn't launch, so. Good close attention down there from Jonas. The pressure continues though from the Bombers. It's been outstanding and it's produced their third goal from Bagley. And isn't he happy about kicking a goal? Oh, look at this. Six. Only into a 16 point lead, but dominant in uncontested possessions as well, as we've already alluded to. Wealth of numbers here for Port Adelaide, but they just can't sort it out. Green pounces. Bacon panic ahead for Parrish. A bounce to get himself within range. And then a low skimming. Pollock sets up. Wingard in best position. Although Bagley disposed of him. Bokes there about as well. Hooker working hard. Hurley. It was a rush kick, but it ends well. Port working their way back into the game early days. Tap from Bell Chambers. Fantasia made it a run. It's Green that gets boot to ball. And most importantly, ball through the goals. Disposal winners on the ground. Zaharakis going to pitch and go any which way. Danaher, McDonald, Tip and Woody coming the other way. Let's be careful not to get in each other's way. Saad, now Merritt, had a yard, turns it into two. Can he turn it into a score? He might well have done that because he's put it on the chest of Fantasia. Gets it the centre half forward, Bagley. Oh, tried to bust through, the ball came loose. Oh, hooker. He was waiting for Gray to come to him so he could dispense with him. Absolute goal gone big for Port Adelaide because of the Jack Watts funders. Made it tough for everyone else to meet the Gray. McDonald, Tip and Woody. Got two inside 50. They're out number. Just got to get it in there. It took too long. Diving effort from Gray. Stewart gets a shot. A crack shot. Plenty of time forward. He'll find his way in time. No yeah, well, he had 19 last week and was, and was better, but it's, um, he didn't have much of a preseason. So it will take time. Goddard kicked it beautifully for Bell Chambers in the middle. He's still got the urgency about it. Zaharakis and now the left foot of Myers. This is what you want as a forward, especially when your opponent goes to ground. Stewart takes the mark. His job is to kick the goal. You go back, kick the goal. Yeah. Well, Josh Green miss should it have, now. He should have learned from last week too. So Stewart, two goals in the first quarter and one in the second. Another area where Essendon have had the dominance so far. Bell Chambers thumping it forward. Stringer's onto it. Just couldn't find a clear path, so tumbles it inside instead. Begley couldn't the first time, but G could the second. Parrish and then Green. Myers, we know he's got to find his left. He's got it. Yes, he has! A really good game in the ruck in the second half up in Sydney. No shortage of effort. Howard, Saad, Heppel again. Goal chambers, the handball received just one after another. It's a wave of bombers. It comes to a halt. But Early was there with the chop out. Zaharak has kept on coming. And as he looks up, he's got Joe at half forward. He just has to try and fend off Marshall. And Cleary gets the ball up in the direction of Danaher. Thumps it further inside. Under pressure, Bonner slammed into the Eddie Hatton. Like scoring out, they caught Adelaide. They're right on the back foot. Oh. The errors are compounding like that. Zaharakis to benefit into the pocket. Stringer. 
Welfie. And here's the free four against Jack Stringer. Or to Jack Stringer. He's got it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It was never going to miss from Jack Stringer. The tongue's out. Big smiles. Trying to lift them around the contest. Hartley flying for the ball. Oh, Dixon's got one in the face now. Goddard strides away. Goes for Heppel. He can use Fantasia. So creative off half back when he links up. Merritt kept on coming. Look at that. He can pace away along the dock lone wing. Kicks it in towards full forward. And his hands in the back. Is it advantage? Has to be. Has to be advantage from Green. Watts. Not clean at all and didn't have great awareness that Bagley was hunting him down. Sam Gray takes his chances on the left foot. Almost for Marshall. Oh, treacherous stuff there. A couple sliding. McGrath gets the man of trouble. He had no awareness, Jack Watts, no, did he? He did not. And the Bombers might make them really pay. Parrish to half forward. Danaher from behind. Fantasia. All he's own in the goal square is Jake Stringer. And he can play on and relish a goal before the half. And they can get back in it. How it starts and gets the ball to Gray. And so, ooh, they're about to get the clearance. And then McDonald tip and Woody pounced. I just thought better of trying to take the advantage. Maybe that was the discussion at half time about taking the advantage. Hutto. Heppel. Danaher. It was the one piece that hasn't really did it into the puzzle so far for the Bombers in terms of kicking goal. Find themselves 22 points behind the Smith. Long kick west off there is the extra. Danaher, it's shunted under it, play on the call, Begley, impressive jump, and a nice bit of composed football to hit Goddard. Night final, or night final it was, against the Blues, back in the early 80s, that's a beautiful strike from Brendan Goddard. Zaharakis places it for Danaher. Houston, to cough it up with a handball, he needed help. Gray tries to provide, can they get it? To the outside doesn't help when you lose your footing. Fantasia, fabulous goal. And some beauties. Here's Jack Watts versus Hurley again. Hurley gets the edge. Watts tries to restrict him with a tackle. Welfi breaks another tackle. And the Bombers click into gear through the middle. Myers, Zaharakis, Bell Chambers, Hooker. It doesn't play like a key forward, but no. you don't need it. Danaher back to the middle. Tough one to grab. He went to ground. Sloppy handball, fumble, McKenzie sloppy handball. Looped it back. Oh. Houston. Oh, oh boy. No. Bombers everywhere. They're swarming forward. And Stringer's going to stroll in for number three. Straight to Zaharakis. Joe, will he fly? No, he doesn't. He left it for McDonald Tip and Woody. Stringer wants his fourth. He's trying to dismiss everyone in sight. Smith, almost, but not quite. Parrish shows them how. Hooker for Guelphie. Had time to get the angle of his body right so he could kick it in the direction of Heppel. Howard tapped it away, but Devin Smith can either go on his own steam or pop it over to Joe. He goes solo and takes the kick. Danaher again. Almost. Stringer. A lot of arms getting thrown out there. Flailed everywhere. <laughs> Zaharakis, forced back for the moment, but now they find a way forward, and this man knows only one oh. way. It's the bounce and run and belt it. Danaher. It's just... Myers, beckoning for someone to give him a clean option. But Donald Tip and Woody happy to oblige. Good, strong mark, and showing signs of finding some form today. Danaher getting up the ground up in front of Jonas. It's been a tough one to get past today, Tom Jonas. And that's a high ball, but they had two bombers there. And Bagley, who already has one goal for the day, has it. May not even do that today. I mean, oh. That kick, but he had a chance. Oh, well, Howard's kick straight into the man on the mark. Stringer looking for his fourth. Oh, hits the post. Hurley takes his 14th mark. McDonald, Tip and Woody covering the territory. Ambitious kick. Stewart on the turn was outstanding. He had a bounce if you don't mind. 
gets into the pocket, and James Stewart puts it for Joe Danaher, who surely will do a straight kick here, Jason. What's he do, Jason? What's he do? For his first goal of the day, Joe Danaher to stop a run of four Port Adelaide goals. He kicks it straight and up. It's through the middle. Begley came to the footy. From in to out, the Bombers are on the move again. Merritt thought better of the first. Just instant gives her outstanding. Saad, he knows he can bounce and run with the best, but they just Go grabbed on. him. He had the pants being held while he took a bounce. Yeah. He had kicked the goal too, had he? Yeah. Here it is. Watch here. He puts the ball down and then he gets held. What's your understanding of the ruling on that, John? Well, you've got to be held when you put it down for holding the ball. Good link up though from Port. Wingard's kick shut down by Guelphy, who has impressed, as we've said, for the Bombers so far. Al Chambers again, he had Myers in mind, and here's Parrish again, comes with a surge. Stringer from one side, Danaher from the other. Stringer makes the take. He's working, it's working! It's all working for Jake Stringer! He's a bomber now! He's kicked four. Support winning the centre clearance battle. It has been an area Essen have actually been good at this year, the centre clearances. Smith to Bell Chambers, the little handoff, and they've worked it forward, and Danaher takes the tumbling mark from the Myers kick. Eight goals in four games against Port Adelaide. Previous to today, this for his second of the afternoon, and there was never any doubt. Arms in the air. Looks for Guelphy, can't take the mark. Polak. Back to full forward. Here's a chance. Wingard still in it, but Hurley. There's too many, but Hurley. Danaher. Ready to go. Well, hooker. Just a, a little holiday there. Welfie. Long kick. Stringer might get his fifth on McDonald. Tip and Woody. His first. Yes. Now they can celebrate with conviction. Win two for his, for his team, so. He'll stay in. 17 possessions. Yep. He's found a bit of it. Looks a good time. Got out to centre half forward. Jake's ready at full forward, ready to burst. Really. Sets it up. Someone to fly. Stringer likes to look at this. Oh, he drops it. Merritt wants a free. Good the staging there. I ah, great stuff. There's Grolfi again. No, I'd like to see that again because he's. Um... Last three minutes. Back to 23 points. Merritt, you can see his eyes were darting because Paris was on the move. Green takes it this time. He's looking much quicker to move it on into the pocket. And Stringer. Said some strange decisions we have. today. The siren sounds. What a difference a week makes for Essendon supporters. And for these players, a massive seven days to get back out there and a totally different performance, rewarded by a 22-point victory. Port Adelaide suffering their first defeat of the season. It's the Bombers by 22.